Welcome to Real Talk, where a real voice actor tells you what's really happening inside the mind of a VO. My name is Kelly Wilson. I am a voice actor for commercials, videos, e-learning narrations, children's educational content, and more. And in my past life, I was an audio engineer for an on-hold messaging company, copywriter, producer, radio DJ, ops assistant, promotions, programming, production. I worked in admissions and PR and higher ed. And for a little bit, I was even a TSA officer. Each week, I provide tips and tricks on what to look for in a voice actor, what the voice actor really needs from you so you can uplevel your brand, and what exactly is going on in that voiceover's mind. Weirdo. It's episode eight of Real Talk. I'm Kelly Wilson. So what happens if you don't want to direct a voice actor? Maybe you don't have time. Maybe you're just like, dude, I'm not into that. I just don't want to deal with it. I just want the voice actor to do the thing. Leave me alone. And I respect that. I get that. So yeah, it's your project. Do what you want. That said, here's how I would approach it. You know, first, make sure you narrow down the voice actor, maybe have them do the audition. And um, maybe during that audition process, they give you two or three takes. You narrow down the specific voice actor you want, and then you narrow down the specific take you want. Take or takes, if it's small form, short form, you can, you know, do a couple. Um, That way you have your person. And you have the direction of the voice you want to proceed with with your project. Um, Then you send the voice actor that final copy. Maybe you don't want to direct them, but maybe you want to jump on the phone. And um, once the voice actor has looked at it, maybe you want to say to the voice actor, hey, you got any questions? This is how we pronounce XYZ person's name. Um, This is this regional dialect thing. This is how we say this. You know, just, just kind of bring them into your world quickly you know, assess if there are any questions or, you know, anything that's foggy. Or you could just ask the voice actor like, hey, read this over and reply back with any questions or let me know if if this makes any sense to you. So at this point, you've narrowed down the voice actor, you've narrowed down the read, and you've communicated to the voice actor exactly what you want. Then here's how I would do it next if you don't want to uh, direct a voice actor. If it's a short form audio, ask the voice actor for three takes. The first two takes are variations of how exactly you want it done, how exactly you have laid it out. That last take, I would say, ask them to give them, to give you a version of the audio of however they prefer, however they think the voice actor thinks it should sound. That way, you have two of what you want, and the third could be this, huh, never thought of that, which you might throw away and be like, cool, never using that again. Or it might just be exactly what you're looking for and exactly what you needed. Um, I don't know about you, if you've ever been just too close to a project, maybe you're working on it for months and you just, uh, I've written papers before and it's like, I just, the the sentence looks the same and the same and the same. I need to take a a step. I need to take a step away. And having that um, that, uh, fresh brain of a voice actor to look at it and offer you up that fresh perspective and fresh take could be just exactly what you need. Again, maybe not. Um, if you uh, are a good producer, you can always take those takes and what I like to call Frankenstein them together. Um, you know, take one sentence from one take, another sentence from another take, and um, maybe that end tagline was from the, uh, the take that the voice actor uh, threw your way as a, uh, you know, their idea of what it should sound like. So you can always do that. So that's my advice to you if you have a voiceover project, but you don't want to direct the voice actor for whatever reason, which is just fine. It's your project. and you do what you want. Hey, thanks for listening. Please do me a solid and rate and review this podcast and share it with a friend or a colleague, anyone who you think would find this helpful. You can join my email community and you'll never miss out on an episode of Real Talk and score my freebie, a list of five fantastic voice actors to add to your roster. When you sign up, kellywilsonvo.com slash subscribe. And yeah, one of them is me. Bye.